Okay, so um, just going to measure this up here and see how much we have to cut out of there to make our strap. Um, this was broken uh, right here and it looks like this section would have extended from here to here. So we'll measure this and the overall. We'll add the two together and we should come up with our dimensions. Looks like we've got four four and a half plus another two inches so six and a half inches and we've got enough here to do that easily so I'm going to cut it a little bit longer and we can trim it down so we've got six and a half inches here um, what I want to do though is kind of figure out how wide I want to make this. This is three quarters of an inch, so we'll, I think we'll just do the same thing. Um, so I'm going to measure. This is not exactly straight, so we're not going to come up to this exact edge, but we'll do. Uh, Six and a half up to here. <laughs> Trying to see here without my glasses. Looks like it went up to eight and a half, so let's back that off. We'll do seven. And uh, we can trim it down. So we got one line there, and if we go about three quarters of an inch, about right there. So there we go. Um, got our other line right here. So as you can see, this is going to cut pretty easily here with some basic kitchen scissors here. You want to go slow enough to make a a good even cut. Don't want to rush it too much here. And at the end what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve that a little bit because I'm not positive if I want to use those those ends are not off of the other one, so in case I don't use them, we'll have a little bit more of a finished end to that. And one thing I'm noticing here is that the leather is a little thicker in spots a little thinner in other spots and that's just the nature of the beast I guess because it's just the way the leather comes out naturally so alright so we're going to try and make a curved end here at this end as well And this is what we got. Not too shabby. Um, and we can uh, fine tune that 
a little bit down the road here too. So let's just see if this is going to make it around. What I'm planning on doing is either putting a rivet through, like I say, both sides of this or just one side here. Um, I think it'll just go through one side the more I think about it. And then this will wrap around and we'll put our snaps on there. And I may wait till the last minute to size up the uh, to size up the snap itself because depending on where this is going to land this is uh, kind of tapered here and I want it to get it pretty pretty exact so that'll be one of the last things I do but as you can see uh, and, I, and I've cut a little extra here too so um, you can see how this is going to work this will come over like so and then the snap Go on like that, and I'll cut some of this off. So, next thing we do is uh, drill out our rivets here and start putting it together.